Hello everyone. Uh, in the continuation of uh, dealing with the LL1 parsing, we are uh, here with a new lecture and that will actually be finding out the first and the follow for the various grammars. Let's say the first grammar is S produces A, B, C, D, this one and A produces small b, B produces small c, C produces small d and D produces e. So we have to find out the first and the follow for all the non-terminals in non-terminals here. So uh, I already told you that uh, the first means when you are deriving the string with the help of a non-terminal then what is the first symbol which may come. So for finding out the first of various symbols you should find out the first of the symbol which is easier to find. For example here in this case first of a is directly small b. When you are going to derive a string with capital A you will be finding small a small b sorry. Similarly, when you are going to derive the string with capital B, you will find small c. When you are going to derive the string with capital D, you will find small e, small d. When you are going to derive the string with capital D, you are going to find small e. So this is very easy to find out. Similarly, for uh, first of s, first of s means first of right hand side. So first of right hand side means first of a, b, c, d. So first of a, b, c, d means first of a, First of A means small b. So first of S is equals to small b. Again see how did we compute the first of S. First of S is means the first of right hand side of the production. So first of A, B, C, D. First of A, B, C, D means first of A and first of A is actually B. So these are the first and the follow, uh, first for all the non-terminal symbols. Now let us try to find out the follow. So follow of uh, capital S will certainly contain a dollar because this is the start symbol. So on the last one we have discussed that for every uh, for every start symbol if we are going to find out the follow it will contain a dollar. So on the right hand side s does not appear elsewhere so the follow of s will only contain a dollar. In case the for s appears on the right hand side of some production then we, we will have more uh, symbols in the follow s but since uh, uh, capital S does not appear anywhere on the right hand side of any production so it will only contain a dollar. So why this uh, follow s is containing a dollar because let's say we are going to derive a string and uh, while deriving this string uh, well, there, there will be a dollar after this. So once you have converted entire thing into the start symbol there will be a dollar after this. Okay. So a b c d will be converted to the capital S while doing the derivation and then there will be a dollar after that. So that's why the follow of s will certainly contain a dollar. Okay. Now follow of other symbols. So let's say we have to find out the follow of A. For finding out the follow of A you should find out where A appears on the right hand side. So A appears here on the right hand side. So follow of A means what is the symbol that will follow A. So these are the symbols that will follow A. So what is the terminal symbol that will follow A. So we will have to find out the first of BCD. So follow of A is equals to first of BCD. So first of BCD means first of B, first of B means we have small c. So in the follow of A we have small c. Okay. Similarly follow of B means you will have to find out where B appears on the right hand side of the productions. So B appears on the right hand side here. So follow of B means first of CD. First of CD means first of C. First of C means small d. So follow of B is small d. Similarly follow of C. Follow of C means let's, let's find out where C appears on the right hand side of the productions. So here it is. So follow of C means small d first of small d. And first of small d is equals to small e. So follow of small c is small e. After this we have to find out the follow of D. Follow of D means once entire thing is appearing in the production. So there is certainly going to be a dollar after this or here you can say that the last symbol which appears in this production follow of this symbol is equals to follow of the left hand side. Okay. Follow of this symbol is equals to follow of left hand side. So whatever is going to follow this obviously the start symbol is also going to follow this. So follow of D is equals to follow of left hand side that is s and this is dollar. So these are the symbols that we have found in the first in the follow. 
Now let's take, take uh, another example to find it out. The first and the follow. For all these, let's first compute the first. So where uh, we will first find out the first of uh, all those symbols, which is easier to find. So first of A, first of B, first of C, first of D, and first of E is easier to find. Why so? When we are deriving a string with capital A, you will find either a small a or epsilon. Similarly, when you are going to find out the first of B, if you are going to derive the string with this capital B, you, go, you are going to find small b or epsilon. If you are going to derive the string with capital C, you are going to find small c. If you are going to derive this small uh, f f uh, string with capital D, you are going to find either D or epsilon. If you are going to derive the string with capital E, you are going to find small e or epsilon. Fine. Now first of S. First of S means first of right hand side means first of A B C D E. So first of S is equals to first of A B C D E. Now if you put A in the place of the first of A, we have already found that first of A is small a and epsilon. So if you put a small a here, then first of small a capital B capital C capital D capital E will be small a. So first of S contains small a. But if you put epsilon here, it means a will disappear and then you will have to find out the first of B, C, D, E. Once again see in the place of uh, capital A if you are uh, write, writing epsilon because first of A is epsilon. So it means a is disappearing here. In the place of a we have written epsilon. So now we will have to find out the first of B, C, D, E. Now for what is the first of B, C, D, E? That means first of B. So first of B is B and epsilon. Let's first put B here. So if you are just putting B here, so first of small b, capital C, capital D, capital E will be small b. Now in place of small b, if you are writing epsilon, because epsilon is also there in the first of B, then you have the symbols C, D, E. Because A is not there, B is not there, you have C, D, E. So first of S is equals to first of C, D, E. And what is first of C? First of C is small c. Okay. So if you are going to put a small c here, only small c is there. So small c capital D capital E. So first of small c capital D capital E will be small c. So in the first of S, we have these symbols. In the first of start symbol S, we have these symbols. Now let us try to find out the follow of various symbols. For finding out the follow of various symbols, obviously the follow of capital S will contain a dollar. Just find out where does the uh, capital S appear on the right hand side? Nowhere. So it will only contain a dollar. Now let's find out the follow of capital A. On the right hand side, the capital A appears here. So follow of capital A will be first of all these symbols. So follow of A is equals to first of B, C, D and E. What is first of B, C, D, E? First of B. Try to put the values of first of B. So first of B is containing small b and epsilon. If you are going to put B here, small b, so first of small b, capital C, capital D, capital E will be small b. Now if you are going to put epsilon here, b will disappear. If B will disappear, now we will have C, D, E. So you will have to find out the first of C, D, E, capital C, capital D, capital E. And first of capital C contains small c. Okay, so first of small c, capital D, capital E will contain small c. So follow of A is equals to small b and small c. So this is the follow of E we have found. Similarly, let us find out the follow of B. Follow of B means... What is the where does the B appear on the right hand side here? So after this we have C D E. So we will have to find out the first of capital C, capital D, and capital E in order to find out the follow of capital B. Now follow of capital B is first of C D E and first of C contains a small c. If we put a small c here, then we have small c capital D capital E. Hence the first of small c capital D capital D will be capital E will be small c. So 
So follow of B is equals to small c. Let's find out the follow of capital C. F try to find out where C appears on the right hand side. It comes here. Okay. So follow of capital C will be first of small capital D and capital E. First of capital D and capital E. What is first of capital D? First of capital D, capital E means first of capital D. What is capital D? First of capital D, small d and epsilon. If you put small d here, you will find out small d, small d capital E, first of small d capital E is small d. But if you put epsilon here, d will disappear and then you have capital E. So first of capital E is small e and epsilon. If you put e here, then you have you are finding the first of small e. And first of a small e is small e. But in case you put epsilon here, e will also disappear. Okay, e will also disappear. So if e will disappear, it means that in the production, S produces A, B, C, D, E, we have no symbol. But after this, we have a dollar. Okay, so that's why dollar will be there in this follow of C. Now you have to going to find out the follow of la, uh, D. So what will be follow of D? Follow of D will be first of, try to find out where D is on the right hand side. Here it is. So after this we have E. So first of E. What is first of E? First of E is small e. So first of small e will be small e. Okay. And if you put epsilon here, so E will disappear. If E will disappear, it means follow of E according to this production will either be dollar, you can take it like this or follow of S. So follow of last symbol when it is uh, when it is epsilon, it is actually equals to, so uh, when there is no symbol after this. So e, in the place of E, we have written epsilon. So follow of D will be follow of S that is dollar. So E and dollar both will be there in the follow of D. Now let's compute the follow for the last symbol that is follow of E. For finding out the follow of E, if you see, there is no symbol R after this. So follow of E will be follow of left hand side that is follow of S and follow of S is dollar. Fine. Now let us try to find out the first and the follow for all these symbols in this production. So first uh, S produces capital B small b, capital C small d. So first of capital S, first of capital B and first of capital C. So try to find out uh, uh, first of the symbols which are easier to find. So for B it is easier. B produces small a capital B. First of a small a capital will be small a and first of epsilon will be epsilon. For this symbol, first of this symbol for means first of right hand side small c and epsilon okay now first of s first of s means first of capital b or first of capital c so first we are going to find out with respect to this production s produces capital b small b so first of s means first of small b oh, sorry capital b First of capital B is A, so A will be there in the first of S. In place of A, if you put this epsilon, because epsilon is also there in the first of capital B, so this symbol will disappear and will be remaining with this small b. So first of a small b will be small b. So that will also be included in the first S set. Now look at this production. S produces capital C, small d. So first of capital S means first of capital C, small d. So first of uh, capital C, small d means first of capital C. First of capital C is containing a small c and epsilon. So in place of this, if you write, write small c, so first of S is small c. But in place of small c, if you write this epsilon, then c will disappear and you will remain with a small d. So S produces a small d. First of small d will be small d. So these are the four symbols in the first of S. Now try to find out the follow of these symbols. 
for finding the follow of capital s obviously the uh, start symbol the follow of a start symbol will be dollar s does not appear anywhere else on the right hand side that's why it uh, it will contain only dollar in the follow set but for for b b appears here so after b there is a small b so follow of capital b is equals to first of these symbols it means follow of capital b will be small b okay b appears here also b produces small a capital b so by the rule you can say that follow of capital b is equals to follow of left hand side follow of b so that will not make any difference here so follow of b will contain only small b now uh, for capital c try to find out where capital c appears on the right hand side here it is s produces capital c small d so according to that follow of capital c will be follow of a small d follow of a, uh, sorry first of a small d first of a small d means only a small d okay so these are the follow for these symbols now let's take this one uh, an interesting one where there are many symbols and this is a classical example and uh, if you are learning this uh, for the examination purpose so this will be the this will be a potential question for your examination so we just have to find out the first of various symbols so first of capital e first of e dash first of t and then first of t dash and then first of f so this is t dash not f so first of uh, uh, let let us find out uh, for uh, the uh, easier symbols for example first of e dash will contain plus and epsilon similarly first of t dash will be star and epsilon and what will be first of f first of f will be id and opening parenthesis okay id and opening parenthesis for finding out the first of s we are going to look at the right hand side right hand side has two production first is f produces id according to this first of f means first of id so id is included in the first set first of f is equals to opening parenthesis e and closing parenthesis so first of this right hand side means opening parenthesis so opening parenthesis is also included here okay now let us try to find out first of other symbols according to other productions so let's go in the backward manner and t produces ft dash so first of t is equals to first of f so t produces ft dash is the production first of t is equals to first of f we already know that the first of f is id n opening parenthesis so first of t will contain id n opening parenthesis okay now according to this uh, uh, production e produces t e dash first of e is equals to first of t okay so first of t we have already found is id and opening braces so first of e will also be id and opening braces so these are the first for the various symbols follow is going to be interesting for this grammar let's try to find out the follow for e if you see that e is a start symbol so dollar will certainly be there so we will also have to find out if e appears anywhere on the right hand side so e appears here on the right hand side so follow of e means any symbol that is following this so any symbol that is following this is the closing braces closing parenthesis so closing parenthesis will also be there in the follow of e now having found this let's try to find out the follow of e dash try to find out uh, where e dash appear on the right hand side so e dash appear here according to this follow of e dash is equals to follow of e because there is no symbol after this so follow of e dash is equals to follow of e so follow of e we have already found that it is dollar and closing parenthesis now let's see where uh, where does it appear uh, elsewhere so after uh, e, e dash produces plus t e dash so after this there is no symbol so follow of e dash will be follow of e dash so will will not make any difference because this is this is the same follow of e dash is equals to follow of e dash so follow of e dash is containing dollar and closing parenthesis 
Now let us try to find out the follow of t. So follow of t, let us try to find out where uh, t appears on the right hand side. t appears here. After this t we have e dash. Okay. So follow of t means first of e dash. Follow of t means first of e dash. And what is first of e dash? First of e dash is containing plus and epsilon. Okay, so if you put plus uh, plus here, so it will be t plus. So follow of t will be plus symbol. Obviously, it will be plus. But if you are going to put epsilon here, so this production will look like e produces t in the place of uh, production where where the production is e produces t e dash in the place of e dash if you are writing epsilon because uh, epsilon is there in the first of uh, e dash so you will have the production of kind e produces t so for this follow of t will be equals to follow of e so follow of t is equals to follow of e means follow of e ha has dollar and closing parenthesis so these will also be included try to find out where does it appear elsewhere so t appears on the right hand side here so follow of t means first of e dash we already have found it like this so the, it will make no change so follow of t we have computed is plus dollar n closing parenthesis let's try to find out the follow of t dash follow of t dash t dash is appearing here so follow of t dash is equals to follow of t okay there is no symbol after t dash here so follow of t dash is equals to follow of t and follow of t we have already computed is plus dollar n closing parenthesis. Now let us try to find out the follow of more symbols. Here you can see that uh, there is more production which is containing t dash on the right hand side. t dash produces star f t dash. It means follow of t dash is equals to follow of t dash does not make any difference. So now follow of f. So where f appears on the right hand side in this production t produces f t dash. So follow of f is equals to first of t dash. Okay, follow of f is equals to first of t dash. And what are the symbol in the first of t dash? <coughs> star and multiplication sign. Oh, sorry, a star and epsilon. So if uh, if you put epsilon here, the production is t produces f t dash. So at the place of t dash, you are writing star. So first of a star is star so star included but if you put epsilon here in the place of a star if you put uh, in the place of t dash you put epsilon so t dash will disappear so production will look like t produces f so follow of f is equals to follow of t and what are the symbol in the follow of t plus dollar and closing 